welcome back to Star or Chivalry. my name's Luke and today on the channel we're going to be taking a look at In The Mood, a game which combines Buster Move style puzzle mechanics with platforming as you attempt to clear all the balls on the screen. Now this being an East Asia soft title and being called In The Mood, you'd probably guess by now that there's some form of nudity involved in the game and indeed your efforts are rewarded in game in the usual manner. But is there any depth to the gameplay in this one and is it worth your cash? Well hit that like button, subscribe for more Switch reviews and content and let's find out. So we're skipping the story altogether with this one because as I expected there is none, but if you're watching this then you're probably not here for a narrative, but for whatever reason the game sees you playing as the naughty seagull instead of cute little bub or bob. Now if you've played a puzzle bobble or bust a move game then you'll no doubt be familiar with the mechanics in this one. In each of the stages you'll get a pan of balls trailing down from the top of the screen and it's your job to clear all of them by firing coloured balls up at them and creating links of three to pop and drop them. And due to balls only sticking to one another and the play area's ceiling, you're able to drop groups of balls together by destroying the ones above them. Now to the left and right of the screen you can see your current and next ball colours and the strategy elements in this one come from ensuring you leave yourself a clear shot at key sets of balls as well as in precise aiming and you're able to bounce balls off walls to hit hard to reach places. As with Puzzle Bobble, every 20 seconds or so the ceiling will move downwards by one place along with the balls attached to it, and the game will end if either the balls progress past the red line at the bottom of the screen, or if your seagull gets hit by one of the descending balls, or a ball that you fire yourself. Now you'll have no doubt noticed that in the background of levels there's an image of a cartoon lady, who I won't refer to as an anime babe as the artwork has more of a western feel to it, but each of these ladies has three individual levels dedicated to them, and each time you complete one a layer of the clothing is removed, with the final levels leaving them topless. So yeah, a similar level of sleaze to this one as previous games that I've covered, Though the game's art gallery does reveal more than just the top half of these girls, which obviously I won't be showing in this video. Now where this one differs a little from Buster Move is in the fact that you're not stuck in a stationary position and are able to move about freely hopping between different platforms. And in addition to the different bubble layouts, each of the level usually features a different platform layout as well with some having pitfalls for you to avoid. These platforms vary in elevation, with some working the way nearly all the way to the top of the play area, and with some skillful jumping you can use these to your advantage to get a better angle from which to take your shots from. Now, for the most part I found the gameplay to be pretty enjoyable. The twist on the classic Buster Move formula worked reasonably well, despite your seagull having pretty poor jumping skills, and the overall level variety was decent, with there being a good selection of layouts. Where the real issue lies in this one though is with the consistency of the difficulty, as you'll go from having something like this, to the very next level being something like this. And throughout the game the difficulty level flip flops like this, with the completion of levels sometimes coming down to pure RNG and getting the right balls coming out in the right order, rather than your actual skill at the game. Overall though, it's not a terrible spin on the classic formula, there are some interesting mechanics on shore, but it's clear that the game is really just relying on its artwork to sell. In The Mood only has one game mode to offer, which contains a total of 30 levels, and the whole thing will probably take you around 40 minutes to work through, so not a whole lot of bang for your buck with this one. But if you're looking for another nudie game to add to your growing collection of not safe for work Switch titles, then you might consider picking this one up. So visually then, I like the classic pixel art style of the balls and the levels, and one amusing little detail was with the insides of the balls, which instead of containing cute little creatures, feature things like whips and eye masks. When it comes to the artwork of the ladies, I wouldn't say it was the best artwork I've seen, some look better than others, and the art style itself changes from girl to girl, but it was decent overall, and all of it was drawn by one artist. Audio wise, both the sound effects and music in this one are minimal, we get some simple sound effects and the music is okay, 
But in all honesty, the composition of it was incredibly simple and there was nothing really interesting about it. So on the performance side of things, as expected, no issues with the Switch version, the frame rate is solid and everything runs fine. When it comes to issues, there are a few minor ones, like you not being able to cancel your shots once you take aim, and there being a delay between taking a shot and being able to jump, which can cause some issues when you're trying to work quickly. But other than this, the game plays well. And I'd say that the developer could have really made an interesting little indie game here had they not focused on using nudie cartoons as the main selling point, and instead had put some effort into coming up with some creative game modes and just increasing the overall number of levels. As it is though, the game is fun while it lasts, but it's just way too short, and I'd say somewhat overpriced for the content on offer. And so, for my own personal rating, I'm going to be giving, in the mood, 2 out of 5 stars. If you enjoyed the OG Puzzle Bubble games and are looking for something similar to fill an hour with and don't mind a bit of cartoon nudity, then In The Mood may be worth a shot, but overall it's quite a shallow game with very little content to offer. And so that about does it for this review of In The Mood on the Nintendo Switch. As always, make sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed it and it helped you out. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on the game down in the comments section below. And if you watch my content regularly but are not yet subscribed, then please consider doing so. For now though, I just want to thank you all once again for watching, and until next time, take care of yourselves, and game on.